Hi everybody, Sue B. Polish today. I want to show you um, how to get this look. It's a double stamped uh, manicure and I used OPI uh, Purple with a Purpose and um, Mundo de Unos Stamping Polish. This is uh, Purple with a Purpose and I used Sinful Colors uh, Snow Me White. So first I polished my nails in Purple with a Purpose and then um, I let that dry, top coated it, and then I stamped on Snow White, uh, Snow Me White by Sim Simple Colors, and I put uh, liquid latex around my fingers so that when I um, stamp, show you how I do the stamping, I'm going to do the teal part from Mundo de Unis, and you can see how that goes. I'm using the um, Puin Encore plate. This is uh, four plates with two sides and the one that I'm going to show you that I'm going to use today is uh, SE02A and that's this this stamp right here and I will be using this flower and you can see that right there this flower, this whole flower that's what I'll be stamping with. I'm using my little Puin gray stamper because it's much easier to see um, with the when you stamp with the white which I've already done here on the nail so I'm going to show you the the second part because it's all the same really you're just doing um, the white and a coat of the white and then you're going to do um, let that dry and then go over with the purple I'm um, not with the teal and this is the Mundo de Unis the actual color on this is f number five turquoise and it smells bad <laughs> but it does such a good job I don't mind the smell. So here is the flower I'm going to use, and I'm going to stamp. I'm going to um, apply the turquoise polish here on on the stamp on the uh, plate. I'll take my handy little card scraper, and I'll scrape that. And then I'm going to take the gray rubber stamper and just pick that up. There we go. Hope you can see that. Maybe not. I'm not sure how good the lighting is. And then I'm going to try to get it as close to the same on the nail. So, let's see if I can get this right. Isn't that finger? Can you see it? I don't see it. There it is. And I'm going to come with the rubber stamp. This is very difficult to do in... um. There it is, and it, you know what? It dried so fast, you're not going to see it. Just give me one minute. You got to be quick with this stuff. Let me try again. Okay, I'm going to apply this. I'm still not too adjusted to how my camera shows things, so just bear with me. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> I try really hard. Okay, that's that. Let me try. Okay. There you go. There we go. Well, that's one. This stamping polish is very, very uh, bright. It smells and it sticks really good. You gotta really scrub to get that clean. Oh, go again. It's not easy to get it to match, but you get it as close as you can. Yeah.
this turquoise um, Muno de Una stamping polish is great, but I'll tell you, it does stain your skin if you get it on your skin, so um, be in your best interest to uh, use something on your skin to keep it from staining, whether it be Elmer's glue or um, liquid latex. I just got a bottle of liquid latex and I it cost like six dollars and change I think and it's a big 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 jar and I emptied out a um, an old nail polish bottle that was pretty much empty and I poured some acetone in it and then cleaned it and shook it up and then let it dry and then I poured the liquid latex in it so I can use it just like a bottle of polish and it's very easy to um, put it on your skin and that's that and then I'll, I'm gonna finish up and clean up and I will show you the finished product and the finished manicure I just got one more to do and I'll be all set. It's finally warm in Rhode Island. I'm so happy. It was in the 60s today. And I was lucky enough to go out for a little while and enjoy some of the sunshine. I hope you all did too. This kind of made me feel in the mood for spring. With a flowery manicure. And maybe I'll keep it on for a couple of days. Usually I take it off quickly, but... Um, I get bored really quick with my manicures. And that's it. I let that dry a few minutes and uh, then I top coat and then I pull all the um, I pull off all the uh, liquid latex, clean up my nails and then I'm done. And usually after I do that I wait about an hour to make sure everything's dry dry and then I will um, put oil around, around my skin, around my nails and the cuticles to keep them from drying out, you know, from all the, the things I do to them. It's, it's really important to keep your, your nails manicured. So that's it for this one. The, here's the finished product. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There'll be many more. Um, I think I'm going to be planning to do a, a, my favorite Zoya polishes um, the next one. So have a great night. Um, or day, whichever time you might be watching this. And uh, thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate you. Bye now.